in the last two activities you learned that you need a closed loop to make the bulbs light and that closed loop has to be made out of conductive material and we've got these two paper clips here which were two things that you tested I'm using them so that I can uh, have more fine control over what I'm touching with my testing circuit uh, in activity three the something that you're testing is going to be one of these bulb sockets so usually the bulb screws into this kind of like that and the socket has a couple different parts there's this plastic base which you tested and then there are these clips you can see this is clip A then this would be down here this flat part would be plate A if this is clip B then this flat part is plate C so the clips and the plates are attached to each other so the first thing it tells you to do is to um, touch clip A and clip B. So that's just the clip here. And clip here, and hopefully you can see those lights down there. Hopefully you can see that those lights aren't lighting. Then it says to touch clip A and plate A. So here's clip A right here. And plate A is going to be right here. Plate A and plate B. I'm going to touch plate A here. Plate B is down below it. See that? Maybe I'll touch down here. And then clip B and plate B. So I'll put this down here on plate B, and here's clip B. Just like that. Next thing it has you test is the light bulb. So here's the third light bulb. And if I put the tip of the bulb in the threaded section, if I put one clip, one end of this paper clip on the threaded section here, and the other end on the tip of the bulb, you'll see this. Wait, you'll also see this. Ta-da! And then uh, the threaded section and the threaded section. So I'll keep this on the threaded section and put this on the other one. Okay, you can see this. Uh, the glass in the threaded section. So here's my threaded section still. Here's the glass. And the black ring in the threaded section. So here's my threaded section and the black ring.